Hey Max here. In this video, we're gonna build a profitable day trading strategy. I'm gonna show you the results, how you can get this strategy, use it for yourself, but also how the trading plan works. So right here, you see it in action. We can of course skip this and then show you the equity chart. I'll post all the results right here. You can check them out. Let's start with building in FX Rima. From there, we export it, import it to MetaTrader. I'm gonna take you from beginner to advanced so that everyone that watches this video will end up with a profitable trading strategy, just like we always do with this channel. So let's get started. So if you're new to this platform, this is FX Dreama. You can just go to fxdreama.com and get an account there. I'm not affiliated with this platform, but it helps us automate trading strategies without having to code. So we can very quickly build a strategy, test the strategy, and then trade with the strategy because that process is the most important one, right? So with that said, if you don't know how this works, I created a masterclass. You can watch this video. If you watch that video, you will go from beginner to advanced, know exactly what you need to do and then you can build whatever strategy you, you want and this is a tutorial on this specific strategy which is a day trading strategy we're gonna trade on dollar yen for now and what is important is that we are looking at a london session so the trading plan is rather simple we look at the london session of yesterday the day before that and the day before that and then we compare the highest prices and the lowest prices and then we see okay is there a pattern we can trade if it is in the right direction like our trading plan tells us we take a trade and if you do that you get these returns so first of all, what do you need? Well, first we need to know how the overall trading plan looks like, right? So let's go to trading view first, let's draw it out. And then I'm gonna show you here in FX Dreama how you can build this and then you can build it for yourself or you just download the X4 or the X5 file in the description below. If you're a part of our NC community, you'll also get the code. And of course, in the live webinars, we will build this together. This is just a sneak peek, but you will, of course, get a profitable strategy here. So right here, you see dollar yen, the one hour time frame here on TradingView. What we are looking for is the London session, right? So right now, the London session, you can see right here. So around this time is the London session for me. You can see the times below. We're going to analyze that. Then we analyze what is the London session doing before that. Well, that London session is lower than this London session. Okay, cool, then we know that. And then the algorithm goes to one day before that. So this was weekend, so we go to this London session and then we have that London session. So for buys, we only look at the highs of the London sessions. For sales, the other side, right? We only look at the lows. So for us, what is important? Well, we have here the London session. We have here the London session and then we have right about here we have a london session so this one is above this one and this london session is above this one and you might think max what are you doing now what what is this for weird trading strategy well what i want to create is that the london session two so the mid one is the highest the one is below that and three is there so we are creating more or less what you call a head and shoulder pattern and if it is in the right direction, and I'll show you that based on data, of course, we have tested this over thousands of trades to prove if this concept works and it works. So therefore I'm gonna publish it right now for you guys to work with it, maybe improve it, but it's already very good. So with that said, now you understand the logic. The same is true from the other side. So you then just look at, okay, the London session lows, the London session lows and the London session lows, and you want this pattern. So right here, do we have a pattern? No, we do not have a pattern. And the, this one is lower than that one, and that one is again higher. So we don't really have a pattern here, but we're gonna dive into trading examples later on. So right here, again, we have FX Dreama. You have here the London session and modify variables uh, blocks. I didn't cover that on YouTube yet, how that all works in the masterclass. I quickly shared some insights on it. If you watch that video, this video, make sure you understand everything and now we build on that foundation otherwise if you don't know how it works you better watch that take some time within an hour you learn how to automate your trading strategies right that will help you a ton it will be more consistent you can back it up by data because you can back test quicker you can adapt your strategies quicker and you get uh, can pass funding quicker with automation so it's really worth watching right here let's dive into what i'm doing here so I call this London, but all this is, is just a one spare bar block. Yeah. 
or a once a day block. So this is a once a day block. You can drag it and drop it there. What I do is at 10, I want to do an action. So once a day at 10 in the evening, we are gonna find the three variables that we need. And remember, what was that? London session high one, two, and three of the past three London sessions, right? So what you need to do is right here, You, if you open a fresh modify variable block, what you can see is it's just empty, right? It looks like this. What I want you to change is to go to market properties and then the highest price or the lowest price of a candle period. So what this means is simply right here, you see start candle and end candle. So these are zero till 10. So you count backwards and then you are just looking for the highest price of the past 10 trades. So that's not the, the highest price of the London session, but just if you are on a one hour chart, you look at 10 hours back in time and then uh, it looks for the highest price and then it stores it in a variable. And a variable is simply said, uh, just like a human being does it. If you're looking for a key level as a trader, you see that on your trading view. Let's go there. You see, for instance, uh, this, uh, this high. Well, if you see that high, you're just gonna, of course, place a line on it. But if you are building an algorithm, you need to, let's move myself, it's 156.78. As an algorithm, you need to store that value. Just like a human being, you probably don't know that value if you don't write it down, right? So storing a variable is just the same as writing something down as a human being. So to do that, you have here constants and variables. You create a variable by just add new, you uh, store high or whatever name you want to use value zero and that's all you need to know if you do that i already did that here S london session one high london session two high london session three high low 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 and then close and open because we're going to use that later on as well so if you are building this with me right now what you need to do is create the variables right click here and then select the variable where you want to store the high in so I don't want to make this video too long for you, but you can see here, it's candle 15 till 2020. So the, the, this is a period of seven hours that I collect here. And if you do that the same as I do, then of course you will have the same results and a profitable strategy at the end of this video. So this is 15 and 22. Then you store nine and 14 as well. So that's a separate modify variable block. And then third one is one to eight. So those seven hours more or less. So then you store the session three high. So three high is the most recent two. So I counted the, the wrong side. If we go back to the example, you can see this was three, this was two, and this was one, but you can also just name them differently. It doesn't really matter, but just to clear that up here, you can see London session three is the most recent one. So one to eight by doing that, the same story is true for once a day at 10, you do that for the lows as well. So the same candle ID periods, London session low, and then you can collect the lowest price. So all we have done right now is we found the high of the London sessions, right? So if these are the highs of those sessions, we store this value, this value, and this value. And then we want to compare the values to see if this one is the highest, this is lower, and this is lower, yeah? That's all we do, and that's the trading plan so far. As a human being, it's quite some work. An algorithm does it in a second. It just spots, okay, highest price, highest price, highest price, compares it, and sees if the pattern is there. So let me show you how to do that then. Well, once a day, you one minute after you found the highs, or the system found the highs, what you do is one minute later, you check if the London session two high is above the London session three high. So the middle one needs to be the highest. That is what we are trying to achieve here. If that is true, this is yes, this is answer is no. If it's no, it just stops. If it is true, then it checks the next condition. Is the London session one high below the London session two high? Again, London session two high needs to be the middle one, uh, is the middle one and needs to be the highest one. If that is true, one extra condition is the session tree close is below the session tree open. Well, that means that the close price is below the open. So what is that? That is bearish. So for this candle, for instance, it opened up here and it closed there. So I want to have a bearish London session. So how do we get that information? Of course, again, once a day, modify variable to store those values. 
And then you see the London session tree open. That is this candle. And then you store that. And right here, you do the same thing, the close, yeah, of that same session. So what we compare is the, the last candle and the first candle of a session. And that is how we define that overall criteria. So if all is true and the condition is true that the London session close is below the London session open, well, fine. Then we place a buy pending order at the London session too high. So the entry is if you have the three sessions again, you have that session, that session, um, and that session for that example. Well, this one needs to be below that. If that is true, then we enter here. If this happens, we don't have a valid trade. Just to really clear this up, because I always want you guys to understand an algorithm before you use and trade it. So then what is important is a pending order. So you have an expiry. So that's just a constant. You don't need to do that. You can just also just fill in the numbers for yourself. So then you take risk percentage uh, uh, per trade. So let's say 1% risk per trade. Percentage of price stop loss, 0 0.10 is decent for dollar yen and then 100 uh, as a target. So one to one, you can also do a one to one or 110. That means that you have a slightly more positive risk to reward to cover your costs and commissions, right? And then when do you delete your order after one day or two days? It's an intraday trading strategy. So delete your order when you uh, want. You can of course test that, but this is how it works. So super simple strategy. Right now, you know how to build it. You can build it for yourself. Uh, remember, if you want to build this together with me, we also do the Asian session, also the New York session. We do that in the live webinars in our community. In the description below, you can of course join that if you want to master building whatever strategy you want, right? We have automated any strategy. There is not one strategy that you cannot automate. A human being thinks in steps and algorithm as well. You just need to be creative. And as a team and community, we are so we can build everything. With that said, let's dive into the results right now, because that is what we want to see, right? Let's analyze some reports and just what you can expect. So this is the back test that I just ran. This is at 111 trades. We can see uh, the report. We can see a profit factor of 2.14 on dollar yen, max drawdown of 5.7% and a 61% return. So crazy good returns. We have modeling quality, of course, we always use tick data. If you don't have a Windows setup, uh, I'm on my Mac here, but I always log into servers. If you don't have a server with MetaTrader installed and tick data and don't know really how to do all of that, watch that masterclass. But also we now offer servers for you guys that you can just get the server and we have pre-installed bots on it. We have pre-installed a MetaTrader on it with tick data. So you can instantly test on high quality data because for if you're new, what is really important is don't use the broker data that your broker presents because that's not really high quality. You really need to have high quality price data. Uh, otherwise, your strategies might be very good in your back test, but not in the live markets. So always use tick data, right? So let's dive further into the return. So what you can do is, of course, open quant analyzer. I'm going to do that. And you can right click save as report and then open that file in quant analyzer. Like I taught you in a prior video, how to analyze your returns. Make sure you watch this video as well. So right now we are in quant analyzer here, just a free software you can download if you don't have it, where you can upload all your MetaTrader four or five reports. But also if you export your broker history, you can import it here to analyze your strategies better. I created a tutorial on that on this channel as well. But what you can see here is if you trade it uh, with a low risk per trade, these are the returns you can expect. Of course, if you have higher risk per trade, you can just rebalance and then you can see, okay, higher returns. With that said, what is important? You can see the equity chart here. You can see the returns. You can, of course, analyze everything. One major thing here is that this strategy is just the London session, right? We can do this for the Asian session as well. We can do this for the New York session as well. And that is what we do. This is just one part on one pair. And you can already see there's definitely an edge in day trading this approach. It is super simple. It is just a chart pattern, but it is super consistent and you can use it for your funding challenges. If you need winning streaks, this would be like one of the best strategies to use. Of course, you can test it on your dollar, pound, dollar. I have slightly different 
approach towards that. But in general, this is what you can expect. This is another profitable trading ID for you. And we're going to share way more of these systems in the upcoming videos. Maybe I'll do the Asian session as well and the New York session as well and really build this in a, a series. Uh, so subscribe to this channel and I see you in the next episode.